Hey guys, we are continuing to solve Halliday Resnick Walker, Chapter 21, Coulomb's Law. Uh, we'll be doing problem number 13 in this uh, session. I'll just read out the question. In figure A, particle 1 and 2 have charge 20 microcoulomb each. And are held at separation distance D equal 1.5 meters, part A. What is the magnitude of electrostatic force on particle 1 due to particle 2? In figure B, particle 3 of charge 20 microcoulomb is positioned so as to complete an equilateral triangle. Part B now. What is the magnitude of the net electrostatic force on particle 1 due to particle, particles 2 and 3? So, uh, in, the, in diagram A, this one here, we are given two charged particles, 1 and 2. Both are having the same charge, 20 microcoulomb, and are separated by 1.5 meters. So, we just have to find out force. That one experiences because of two. So, that force will be repulsive because they are like. And magnitude of that force, simple Coulomb's law, gamma Q1 Q2 divided by D squared. F12 is equal to gamma is 9 into 10 to the power 9. Q1 and Q2 both are 20 microcoulomb. So 20 into 10 to the power minus 6 square. Both of them are same. So I'm writing square divided by D squared. D is 1.5 squared. Okay, 1.5 squared. Now, solving this, uh, F12 comes out to be 1.6 newtons. Okay, 1.6 newtons. 1.6 newtons. So, this is force that particle 1 experiences because of 2. Yeah, 1 experiences because of 2 in this situation. Now, a third particle is added to the group. Third particle is added in such a way that it forms an equilateral triangle. So this is D, this is D, this was already D, so these two are uh, also D. And third particle has the same charge of 20 microcoulomb. We have to find out net force on particle 1. Okay, Net force on particle 1. So all the three charges are same, 20 microcoulomb, distances are same, so force magnitudes will be same. Force on 1 due to 2 will be in this direction, F12. Force on 1 due to 3 in this direction, F13. Now the magnitudes of these two forces are same because charge values are same, Q and Q here, Q and Q here. Distances are same, D here, D here. So magnitudes are same. So F12 is equal to F13. I'll just call them F. F13 is equal to F. And this we just found is 1.6 newtons in the previous part. 1.6 newtons. And now we have to find out net force of uh, 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 these two forces. Now this is an equilateral triangle. So this angle is 60 degrees. Means this angle is also 60 degrees. Vertically opposite angles. So net force will be net force on 1, F net 1 is simply under root of F12 squared plus F13 squared plus twice F12, F13 cos of 60. You just need some knowledge of vectors here. So this is equal under root of now I'll write f for this, f squared plus f squared plus 2, f into f, f squared, cos of 60 is 1 by 2, 2 and 2 cancels out. So we have net force on 1 is equal to under root of f squared plus f squared plus f squared is 3f squared. So this means net force on 1 is equal to root 3f. Okay, root 3f. And f we already know is 1.6 newtons. Okay, uh, if you substitute the value of root 3, net force on 1 comes out to be 
2.77 न्यूटन्स 2.77 न्यूटन्स ओके 2.77 न्यूटन्स सो दिस इज द नेट फोर्स ऑन पार्टिकल 3 इन द सेकंड सिचुएशन in the second situation. first situation it has only one force which was 1.6 newtons and this one here that net force will be somewhere in this direction and which happens to be 2.77 newtons okay 2.77 newtons fine 